afternoon emerging conservative majority. <laughs> but bipartisanship um, sounds great. We talked about that. Liberalism sounds great. We're going to sit down with people. We're going to try to understand them. Um, when I was in Nevada, I got to know Senator Harry Reid pretty well. Um, <laughs> Really, you're going me. <laughs> Man, this is a tough crowd. And they're right, theoretically. We need to work together. But here's the problem. The Democrats can never get enough money. Ever. It doesn't matter how much. Okay, Democrats, here's what do you guys want? We want 50 kajillion dollars. Okay. All right. You got me. I'm John McKay, my friend. I'm going to... We're going to go uh, 49.5 kajillion. How's that? Okay, that's bipartisan. We're in. That's what we're doing. This is the problem with the Senate today. This is the problem with the House today. This is the problem with let's be bipartisan because the Democrats never negotiate out of good faith. It is always about what can we take. There's never an end to sign I mean, it's bad, bad. It's like Star Wars Cantina bad, right? <laughs> Oh, come on, you're not paying any more than $50. These are the jokes, okay? <laughs> John McCain. I'm not like saying bad things about Sarah Palin. We're supposed to say bad things about John McCain. I like Sarah Palin. And it was about, well, how much money? I think it was you, you, Tito. How much money do you need? And they said, it'll never be enough. And I believe them. For them, it will never, ever, ever, ever be enough. It doesn't matter what we do. And this is part of the problem with... We'll be bipartisan. Let's yeah. work together, right? Mm. My friends, I'm John McCain. My friends. <laughs> <laughs> but what a guy like that believes in, and he believes to the core of his being, all, he, he just believes it, is that government is good. He believes that no matter how much money we give them, they will always be able to do more good things. The problem is, he's wrong. <laughs> right? That's just right. the problem. He's wrong. Oh. Yes, you can applaud. He's wrong. <laughs> to do is use some of the tools that the Democrats use, the rules for radicals, the stuff that my friend Andrew Breitbart talked about. Yeah. And it's things that we are inherently not very good at. And that is we Republicans tend to look at issues with reason and logic. Okay? <coughs> Makes sense. We tell them the numbers, we tell them the facts, we tell them the figures. But guess what? <laughs> <laughs> the American people are all conditioned right now by what? Emotion. Emotion, you're right. Emotion. And so what we need to do is figure out a way to become not stupid, but connect emotionally. Uh, so anyway, so Obama goes up and gives his press conference today, right? And I gotta tell you, I thought it was an absolute disgusting excuse. For a president of the United States openly race faith an American citizen who was acquitted of all charges by a jury. Yes! Yeah. Amen! And Jesse Jackson out there going, wow, well, that wasn't a jury of Trayvon Martin's peers. Trayvon Martin wasn't on trial! <laughs> Dumbass! <laughs> I'm sorry, ass, that's demo, that's a donkey. Donkeys for Democrats. <laughs> Anyway, so here's my problem. We got violent riots being held in Trayvon's name right now as we speak. Wow. The rioters were just told by Obama that he says, well, Trayvon's like the son I never had. So Obama's saying, by the way, Trayvon equals Obama. You love me. Oh, but don't do anything. <laughs> right? I, I, I just wonder how much angrier that's going to make people. And besides the race baiting here, this comment... Oh, my life could have resembled Trayvon's. Yeah. Obama's life resembled Trayvon? What the hell are you talking about? I mean, I don't think Obama would have been caught dead living near a guy like that. I mean, you think about that. I mean, that school's not a cheap school to go to, is it? No, I gotta get him. <laughs> him hanging out with Trayvon. Yeah, right. It is nothing but a pure gesture of racial solidarity as ugly and divisive as anything any American president has yeah. ever said in the American yeah. The other thing that he, Obama, I think, his other ulterior motive is, is I think he is desperately trying to keep people from talking about Detroit 
going bankrupt. Yeah, oh, today. Yeah. This is a huge story. Yes. Because Detroit is America under Obama. We're yes. seeing it. I mean, when I was you know, I'm 47, I'll be 48 in August. When I was being born, there that was the center of the world commerce. Detroit, the yep. city of Detroit. That's it. And now it is a disaster. Um, Detroit is Obamanomics in the end stage. It is a one-party Democrat rule for the past 50 years. Wow. Are there any other places like that? Hawaii! 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 Hawaii. Yeah. Hawaii. Yeah. Well, we have Long Long Ranger anyway. <laughs> I, you know, I don't know if this sounds familiar at all to you guys, but they're having payoffs to political cronies. Hello, uh, trade system here, huh? Because yeah. those always work in America. <laughs> Dumbasses. <laughs> you got union killing industries. You guys have that problem? Oh yes. Mm -hmm. And then you've got incompetent government agencies racking up debt without a care to who pays the bills. That's that sound right. familiar. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look, this is why. We need conservatism, and this is why we're here. Yeah. Um, all right, they, they're, they're, tell me i got to go or else they're going to kick me off. Of yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, oh, is this video going to get me in trouble? This one. <laughs> Hi, Media Matters. How are you today?